Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotox here. So today I'm going to be unboxing the speed and case lineup for the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE right here. Uh, the reason I decided to do this was I wanted to test all the cases for the S20 FE and just to decide which one would be the better choice for me and maybe even some of y'all that are watching this video. So as you can see, this one right here, the Rugged Armor, has already been unboxed and the reason for that is I had made a separate video for this a couple actually around a month ago and that's why I don't have the box for this I only have the case so there won't necessarily be an unboxing for this one but we still have these two right here so I went ahead and searched up all the speaking cases that they offer for the S20 FE and I went ahead and ordered all of them and if you're interested I'm gonna go ahead and leave down Amazon links because on Amazon they tend to be cheaper and they cost around 10 to 15 dollars so let us begin First up, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the Ultra Hybrid. This is their clear case that they have for all of their phones. Let's go ahead and move these out of the way. So pretty simple. There's just pull pull tab right here. Pull it and it opens up so you can take out the case right there. But first, let's go ahead and check out the front area. So Galaxy S20 FE 5G, S20 FE Ultra Hybrid case. Important, removed A and B protection film. So they have protection films on the inside so it does stick on better. But that's not too important. So let's just take it out. Anything else in here? Nope. Just this right here. So let me go ahead and move the camera angle a little. Okay. So we have our hybrid case right here, our ultra hybrid. Let me go ahead and take it out. Move that to the side. And we can see those little stickers or tabs I was talking about. So let me go ahead and take those off real quick. I guess this is just to keep it protected. Okay, so one of them's off right there, and the one on the inside. So they are pretty easy to take off. Okay, and we are looking at our clear case right here. So nothing too interesting about it, except that it is clear, and it'll probably show off your phone's color better, which is one of the advantages of a clear case. You're still able to show off what your phone looks like with a case on, uh, let's go ahead and test out the buttons real quick. So, still very clicky. And no issues right there. So, overall, the buttons do feel pretty sturdy. Not sturdy, but it's able. you're able to click it easily. So, that's pretty nice right there. And then, let's go ahead and check out the bump, the camera bump that they have right there. Okay, so, the camera is under the case, and the case does extrude above it so it can protect it better. And let's check out the screen portion of it. Let me go ahead and do that. And the screen, the case is just a little bit under it. And that's the reason for that is because I have a pretty thick screen protector on here, a tempered glass screen protector. And that's probably why it doesn't show it off. Uh, so the speaker grill right here, interestingly enough, uh, it does look blocked, but it, there is like an overhead area. So it doesn't completely cover it. It just has like this air, it goes above it, but there's this area, a cutout under it, which is still open. So the sound can still flow out easily. So this is the Ultra Hybrid case right here. Uh, it's pretty easy to hold it in the hand, doesn't add too much to it. Does make it a tad bit thicker, but it's to be expected. And if it's a high quality case, it really doesn't matter for me. So that's about it for this case. Uh, we also have some writing on this area. Okay, speak in ink, uh, California made in South Korean stuff and whatnot. So nothing too important. And then we probably have like the speak in logo right there, if I can focus whatever so the speaking logo is over there as well so overall not too shabby this case is pretty nice and I would recommend this case for any of y'all that are looking for clear cases out there this speaking does offer one of the best clear cases as I've already tested this case on a couple of my other devices and I really enjoyed using it so let's go ahead and put this to the side and look at our speaking tough armor so the tough armor is an interesting case I genuinely enjoyed this the most on my S10e. When I used it on my S10e, I used it for around two years and I was not disappointed. The reason I switched it out was because after around those two years, it started getting like scuffs on it and there were marks on it, but there was nothing wrong with the case. The case was still perfectly fine. And also the stand right here, uh, it became a tad bit loose, but still it was perfectly fine for using it for around two years. And the case is only around 10 to $15 USD. So, not, it doesn't cost a lot and it is very durable. So let's go ahead and unbox it. The same thing for this one, it just has tough armor, so nothing to look at there. Let's go ahead and pull the tab, take out the case. 
put all this to the side and take it out. So this time around we have a little paperwork right here, installation, removal, what if my kickstand came off? Okay, so this is not too important, it just talks about how this case right here, let me go ahead and explain it for you without reading that because I've already owned this. Uh, so there are two parts to this case. There's this tough plastic and then the inside area which does feel, uh, what's it called? It's a little softer, it's a soft plastic, and it's flexible. So when you insert the case, if the top half, it says if the top half comes off, not to worry, you can just pluck it back in because there are like these little areas that it can go through. You can see these little hinges right there, which you just click it into and it's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and move that to the side. Um, we have stickers right here. Or are these stickers? So they have changed it up, I'm guessing. Because my S10E didn't have these. Let's go ahead and check it out. Nothing here. I'm guessing this is a new design for it. So I guess it just has like this soft material for your phone, which overall is pretty nice. It does look a little weird when you do first look at the case without the phone in it, because it's just a little mix and match of colors and shapes, but that's not too important. So let's go ahead and check out our kickstand real quick. Oops. So really sturdy. The thing I was talking about was mine started like flicking around uh, after two years of usage. That's the thing that was actually coming off, but it still didn't break. So let me go ahead and take it out out of the ultra hybrid case if I can manage to. These cases are on there pretty sturdy, so they will not fall off. Your phone will not fall out of it. So let me go ahead and put it in. Pretty easy installation just like all other speaking cases. Okay, so quick thing I like to say, this does add a little heft to it. It does get a little thicker since it is a little thicker than this, as you can see. And also it has like this weird shape. It doesn't really curve around like the ultra hybrid case did. It just like squares off right there. So it does feel a little weird, especially with a big phone because my S10e wasn't that big and I really enjoyed this case. But for this phone right here, uh, unless you have like really big hands and it doesn't bother you, I'd say go for this case. But if you really don't care about that, go for this one because this is a lot slimmer and it is easier to hold. So let's go ahead and test out the buttons again. So the volume and the volume buttons are a little harder to click, but they're still pretty easy. And then the power button, yeah, that's very easy to click. So. The volume button on this one was a tad bit easier, however, uh, not too big of a difference. So let's go ahead and check out the case, like the outside of it. Looks pretty nice. Um, you're not able to see your color, which is a bummer if you really care about that, but I don't think that matters for too many people. Uh, you'd rather have your phone protected than showing it off. So let's test out our kickstand. This is meant to be held in landscape mode, so let me go ahead and show you. Just put it down like this for a view that will look up to you a lot more when you're like sitting down and then you can put it down like this. So it's a little more vertical and if you're like, let's say laying down and whatnot, this is like an easier way to view it when the kickstand is on the bottom. And then as I said, when the kickstand is on the top, it looks up a little more. So when you're like sitting down somewhere and you're trying to watch it from a little higher, this is the way to put it. So let's close that real quick. Let's check out the ports right here. I can manage to focus it. Okay, so not too important, but the cutouts are pretty perfect. So we have our microphone hole, which is perfectly cut out, our charger hole, and our uh, speaker hole. Okay, so anything else? Let's check out the screen extrusion. Let's see how much higher it is. So this is a little higher than the hybrid case right here, the ultra hybrid. And that is better because as you can see, it is going above my screen protector by a tad bit, which the ultra hybrid didn't do. But this comes to show that the tough armor in the name, it says tough armor, which is meant to be better. I guess, I guess this phone will protect your, I guess this case will protect your phone better than the ultra hybrid. But if you want something a little more slim and something that like shows off the color of your phone and how your phone looks, I'd go for the ultra hybrid. So there's nothing too much else to talk about. The camera, as you can see, the case extrudes above it a lot, which is good. 
but as I said, it makes the case overall thicker. So now let's put to this to the side and check out our rugged armor. So the rugged armor is the most basic, I'm guessing, and the slimmest out of all of these. And it will it will be the one that least protects your phone. However, this case will protect your phone just like the other ones. Maybe in some situations this might not be the best, but this case is the slimmest out of all of these. And it is the one that's easiest to hold. So let me go ahead and take out the phone out of the speaking case. I mean the tough armor case. And... Put it into right here so as you can see right here we have like these little lines and this is for like the heat uh not heat but it's for the heat plus it absorbs the shock waves that come when you drop your phone to the ground there are like little air pockets on the sides which all the cases have all of speaking's cases have these little air pockets on the corners which just allows it to i guess absorb the shock that it gets from dropping to the floor so that is a pretty good design that they have made so now let's put this in and as I said, this is the slimmest out of all of them and the easiest to hold. However, I didn't really like the design of this case. This carbon fiber design right here, it just looks a little weird because it's only in the bottom end and the top end and I'd rather have it either the whole case or not have it at all and that's the reason why I really don't enjoy this case. So even though I've had this case for the longest, I really didn't like using it and I went ahead and bought some other case that I had from before and I just overall don't enjoy it. The buttons are still easy to click just like the other ones. The camera is protected, the front is protected and all the holes are perfectly cut out. But as I said, I just don't like the design of this phone. I'd rather go for this thicker case because I like the design more and it's a little more practical or even just go with the ultra hybrid because this is still a pretty slim case and it will protect your phone better and it shows off the design of your phone. So if I was to pick one overall for protection and basically everything else, I'd go for this. But since I have been using the rugged tough armor case on my S10e as well from before. I really enjoyed this case and I find it the most practical because you have this kickstand and when you're watching something while you're eating food or whatnot, it's the easiest to use, easiest to control, and this protects the most. But overall, if I was to pick a case for the general user, I'd go for the ultra hybrid. I'd say this is the best case you can get for this phone since it's clear, shows off your phone, and also these cases don't get yellow real quick so it takes around a year and a half for it to start getting yellow because Spigen makes it with some other different material and it allows it to stay pretty clear for the time you use it so as i said my pick overall pick would be the ultra hybrid then i'd go for the tough armor if you want some more protection and then if you want something really slim i'd go for this but as i said i really don't enjoy the design on this so that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.